gives you advice, yeah. On how to leave your life, how to leave your life. Guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's video is going to be what my seven month old eats in a day. Um, if you guys are new, my baby's name is Ari, and she's currently seven months old. She turned seven months on the 16th, and I also have a four-year-old. We are up currently. It's like 6.20-something, almost 6.30, um, because Parker's getting ready for school. Um, so we are kind of doing a mix of rural foods and purees uh i wasn't super into baby led weaning with my first son i never looked into it um i was literally still halving like his puffs and his yogurt melts because i was so nervous as a first time mom for everything but this go around i feel more comfortable with everything and ari is very um very advanced i feel like she can crawl she can pull herself up she sits up obviously very well um all those kind of things um so yeah we nurse throughout the night so we do co-sleep so um i you know nurse her throughout the night kind of randomly just to honestly get her to fall back asleep or anything like that um so yeah we're not gonna she's not gonna have any food till we get back from dropping off my son and i will show you guys that okay so we just got back home from dropping off parker it is now 7 35 i'm gonna go ahead and make her some breakfast. You want some breakfast? You want some breakfast? You hungry? You hungry, sweetie? Okay, then mama get cooking. So I keep it pretty simple. Um, so for her breakfast, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use one egg and make a like small little omelet. The only thing I put in there is cheese and I put a very, very small amount of cheese. I will show you guys. Okay, so that was not the best example of my omelette making skills. I did really bad with that one. Um, but I just went ahead and stuck it in here. I'm going to let that go ahead and cool down while I make her some toast. Um, so yesterday she did try avocado slices. Like I cut them up for her. Um, but they were sort of like slippery in her hand. Um, so today I am going to try. I'm going to smash some avocado on some toast and see how she likes that. Because she's been eating toast really well. Um, so maybe she'll enjoy avocado toast. It was just too much of a mess, um, with her trying to grip the, the little slices. I read that you can put, like, some seeds and stuff on it to help them grip it, but we don't have any of that yet. It is on my grocery list, but as of right now, we don't have that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and make some toast for her. I'll show you guys. The toast I use, I'll try to bend down here, is just the honey wheat toast. It's just the one that we buy.
Okay, so she is still working on her food, but I wanted to talk about something really quick. So a lot of it does go on the floor, um, and our dog loves that, um, and she loves it. She loves seeing the dog come over. I think she might sometimes do it on purpose, but um, it's more so with that like actual food that I'm giving her. It's more so her learning about textures, um, just kind of exploring food, because again, this was not something that I did with my son. Um, he strictly had purees pretty much until he was 12 months old. He did have like the puffs and stuff, but again, like I said, like at eight months, I was still halving his puffs and his things because I was so nervous as a first time mom to be giving my son actual foods and things. Um, and she does gag sometimes, um, and it scares the crap out of me, and that was one of the reasons I was really never really wanted to look into something like this um because i was terrified of her choking and all of that stuff um so far no choking she gags if she's taken too much of a bite and she figures it out for herself um yeah our dog right now is like getting the floor scraps but she definitely misses a lot of the food um but it's kind of just a process of learning about the different textures and whatnot um so yeah, I mean, it is very messy, and a lot of it goes to the floor, to the dog, and the high chair. Um, but she does manage to make some of it go into her mouth, um, and it's it's fun to watch her and to see how she thinks about these foods. Um, and again, we are doing a combination of purees and real food. I will go ahead and show you guys. Let me try to move her thing back. So uh, this is what's up here. I can't really show you the floor food because Percy's already gone after it. I'll show you after I, I get her out of the high chair. This was what was in her high chair, only this little bit, which is pretty good for her. Pretty good. Put that right there. Okay, so it's about time for her to take a nap, so I just uh, fed her, um, I nursed her, and we'll see if she takes a nap. It's about 8.45 right now. Do you have some milk? Did you have some milk? I'm tired. Let me tell you, girl. I am about to go ahead to pick Parker up from school. It is about 10.12. I get him at 10.45. Um, but while we're there, like in the car line, she gets a little fuzzy because the car's not moving and whatnot. So I always bring one of these. This is the blueberry rice grusk. Um, and she just eats it in her car seat. So yeah, we're going to go pick up Roger. Okay, so we are back home now. It is about 1130. So I'm going to go ahead and give both of them lunch. Um, Ari is going to have this beech nut natural spinach zucchini and peas a puree um she tends to usually eat the whole container so we'll see how it goes I'm really bad about getting it all over her face. She likes to watch Parker the whole time, so she's always like moving around. So she did finish off the jar. It is four ounces, I believe. 
Okay, so it's now about 4.50. I forgot to mention she did nurse again at around 3.30, 4-ish. And pretty soon I'm going to start dinner. I'm going to be doing tacos um, for her. I'm probably going to maybe try to give her a, a little bit of meat, but I'll probably feed it to her. Uh, and I want her to try some tomato. Oh, and then we'll see after that. I'm not really sure. Yeah, there she is standing up. <laughs> okay, so this is what she's gonna start out with. I didn't, she's gonna try some tomato. I put a little bit of the beef and cheese in there for her to try. And depending on how that goes, she can have like a yogurt or something. Okay, so she wasn't really a fan of this. Um, the ground beef was kind of hard for her. Um, a little bit of the cheese went in her mouth, but not much. And then the tomato she kind of sucked on for like a quick minute and didn't like that. So I'm gonna give her some puffs or something while I finish eating. 